Yo what's up guys my name is Hacky and welcome to a brand new video here on the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get all rare cars in GTA 5 online. I thought I'd compile all of them into one video instead of having them all individual. This would be more convenient for you guys I figured. Now just before we start this video if you go on to find it helpful take two seconds to drop a like on it and also if you're new to the channel go ahead and drop a sub join the Hacky Army. At the time of this recording we're getting really close to 40,000 subscribers so if you guys want to help us get there feel free to or if we're past it when you're watching this just go ahead and drop a sub so you don't miss any more videos like these also don't forget to turn on the notification bell as well anyway though let's get straight into it so the location on the map as you guys can see you need to be all the way up here and this is the exact location where it's going to be spawning right here on the map so here is the map and this is the exact location right here in this parking lot and as you guys can tell it is 4 30 a.m right now currently in gta time and the rat loader spawns in that parking lot roughly between 6 a.m and 9 a.m so you guys want to be in the parking lot early in the morning i did hear from a few other people that you can get it possibly in the afternoon at roughly like 6 p.m but i feel like early in the morning from 6 to 9 a.m is the best time to get it make sure you guys also you are in a muscle car apparently it does help you spawn it in a little bit more so it should spawn right there next to that orange circle so pretty much what i'm gonna be doing as you guys can see it is pretty much early morning now pretty much i'm just gonna be going around a little bit driving around until it spawns in and they do spawn in yellow or green and they roughly sell for the same amount i think they sell for roughly i think 13,000. so so if you have a full garage of these you will be able to sell it for roughly hundred and thirty thousand dollars. so pretty much what i'm gonna be doing i'm just gonna drive to this end of the little town and then i'm just gonna kind of drive around this parking lot for a little bit i don't know why you need to drive slower but apparently you do need to drive fairly slow to spawn this vehicle in there you go as you guys can see we got the green rat loader this time this thing is a little bit rusty so let's fix it up a little bit all right so pretty much we got the green one and as i said before a yellow one could spawn in for you as well so let's go ahead and get into Los Santos Customs. It's literally right next to it. All right, so as you guys can see, the sell price is actually a little bit under 11K, but I think the yellow one does sell for roughly 13K. So they're basically the same, you could say, but let me go ahead and show you how you guys can get the modded back. So pretty much what you guys want to do, you guys want to go into Bedliners, and then you guys just want to scroll back and forth, and you guys want to stop on stock. There you go. I'm just going to click A to purchase. And then as you guys can see, we have got absolutely no back to this vehicle. Let me actually back out of Los Santos Customs just so it saves. And as you guys can see, look how sick this thing looks. Obviously, it doesn't look as sick as mine because I got a modded paint job on it. So let's go ahead and drive over to the spot you guys need to start off at. And let me actually show you guys on the map. So you guys need to start off at about right here on the road that's a little bit under sandy shores airfield and make sure you guys start off here on the left side and not over here because it's actually going to be spawning right about here in this parking lot so make sure you guys start off right where i am at about like this area i'd say so first off what you guys are going to want to do is make sure you guys find a sand king off the street just like i did or if you really want to you can just buy it off the san andreas super auto site you can buy them for about forty thousand, so so they don't cost too much i mean you can make the money back easily selling just two modded sand kings you can make the money back but you're going to be getting a lot more the two sand kings and these modded sand kings are here from around 8 a.m all the way to 5 p.m so make sure you guys are in this area from the morning till about like late afternoon i'd say those are the only times you guys are going to be able to spawn it in so make sure you guys take that into consideration but first off what you guys want to do make sure you guys drive up fairly slowly you guys do not want to go fast at all for this you guys just want to like subtly tap the gas button make sure you guys go as slow as me and make sure you guys turn your camera angle to the right of you it's going to be spawning on the left of you so you guys want to do everything in your power to not like look at the spawn location until you actually get there so just like subtly tap the gas button and then after we pass this uh custom shop we're gonna look and there you go we got the yellow one wow look at this thing dude this looks so freaking nice and also i forgot to mention these spawn in two different colors these spawn in a nice like yellow just like you see i got here 
or these can also spawn in a nice like light baby blue color all right so what you guys want to do make sure you're at lsia and pretty much you guys want to make sure you have any sort of job on your phone you guys can join anytime and now from here make sure you guys become a ceo and then you guys want to go into vip work and then go all the way down to hostile takeover and then make sure you guys choose lsia and then go ahead and press start then it should start anytime there you go So go over to this hangar right here and you guys basically just want to kill the guys right here. So let me just go ahead and do that real quick. So pretty much make sure you guys do not collect the briefcase. Just go ahead and collect this beautiful buffalo right here as you guys can see. And you guys just want to drive away. So now once you're in this area, just go ahead and pull up your phone and join a job real quick. Any job. And so once you guys join this job, you want to immediately quit. And once again, this could be a Martin job, a Gerald job, a Ron job, any of those types of jobs. So once you join one, just go ahead and quit as soon as you get a chance. And now once you guys quit, you guys will see you should have the cops off you. Sometimes you're not going to have the cops off you, which is fine. You could just let the cops kill you and you'll still have this vehicle. And as you guys can see, you now have the FIB Buffalo, but obviously you want to repair it. So to repair it, I'm going to be showing you guys how to do that right now. So if you want to repair this vehicle, just go over here to the map. And then you guys want to go over here to the arm wrestling place. And so once you get to this arm wrestling place, just go ahead and drive over the white circle just like this. And then as soon as you get out the car, you want to spam right on the D-pad as fast as you can to go ahead and load into the arm wrestling thing so just go ahead and exit the vehicle and spam right on the d-pad and as soon as you load into it just like last time just go ahead and back out and you guys should see you're not going to see the vehicle at first so just go ahead and run over here and then while you look back you should see the vehicle is back there exactly like this so we did it absolutely perfectly it is completely repaired now all right so pretty much the only requirement for this is make sure you guys have a submarine and then once you're in your submarine go on the planning screen right here and once you're on the screen go one tap to the right and click on approach vehicles and then you guys want to start up either alkanos right here or stealth annihilator which is actually the mission that's locked as you guys can see the locked icon right there both of them work for this but i'm just going to be doing the alkanos just because i already have it unlocked so you guys want to actually have the part two of this so make sure you guys complete part one it takes like five to ten minutes you basically just have to go to the army base kill a couple people and then deliver a big plane and once you complete it go back in your submarine and then you guys want to go ahead and start up part two pilot so we just started it and you guys actually want to get a specific location for this and i'll open up the map and show you guys so as you guys can see we got a location in vinewood hills which is not what we want so we actually want a different specific location so basically if you didn't get the specific location like me just go ahead and go into creator and then from creator start up an invite only session and i'll get back to you guys once i got the specific location and i'll show you guys exactly where it is and let's see if we got the location we want so yeah we actually got the location so this is the exact location you want to get on the map once again if you didn't get that just go ahead and load into a new invite only session but i'm just gonna take the helicopter and go there so it's called the san chiansky mountain range that's the exact location you want to get so once you get to the location just go ahead and get the slam van as you guys can see there's the beautiful slam van right there and you do have to kill a couple of people so just go ahead and take everybody out and get the slam van so once you take everybody out just go Go ahead and take the slam van and once you take it just throw a sticky bomb on the plane to go ahead and end the mission and then you could just go ahead and invite your friends into the session and once again if you guys want to go ahead and save this you guys actually need to do the give cards to friends glitch all right so the first thing you want to do you want to head to this exact location on the map here it is make sure you guys head to this exact location i'm gonna zoom out real quick and zoom back in so make sure you guys head to this exact spot and make sure you guys have either an oppressor mark ii like me here or some sort of helicopter that will do the job now the tornado is actually going to be spawning on that hill right there but you guys will see why you want to be on this hill later on so basically pull up your phone and see what time it is and you guys want it to be about 6 30 and when it turns 6 30 you guys just want to be facing away including your camera angle make sure you face it away from the spawn location and exactly at 7 p.m pretty much 19 0, 0, you guys will see it will spawn there so we're actually going to turn and see if it's there at around 705 so as you guys can see it's about to be 7 p.m and you guys want to use a sniper for this you're going to be needing to snipe someone so as you guys can see it is now 7 p.m and just a few minutes past it in game and let's go ahead and turn around and as you guys can see it is there and you guys want to quickly snipe the person driving it 
and as you guys can see I did in fact kill him and make sure you guys just use a regular sniper not an explosive one because I actually blew it last time I tried so just go ahead and get this beautiful tornado and you can go ahead and call the cops off and I accidentally took out the lady in the passenger seat as well and as I'm falling down here pretty much once you call the cops off just go ahead and drive to any garage you want to save this in so basically to summarize that you guys want to be facing away from a spawn location from about 6 30 so as you guys can see it is 6 right now and you guys want to turn around from about 701 to like 705 and that's what makes it so rare there's only a couple of seconds you guys can actually get this to spawn in alright guys so basically there's one main requirement you guys need and that is that you guys well it's definitely a lot harder than the uh the, the modded sanking one but we finally got it there it is we got the chrome one once again you can get this either in chrome or gold oh my god okay so we got it at the last second right before 6 p.m in game time we got it this thing looks amazing. Once again, this is going to take you at least a couple of tries because holy crap, that was not easy to get at all whatsoever. But if you guys want to add this to your like rare car garage, if you guys have one of those, you can. And uh, yeah, this is definitely going to be considered rare because holy crap, it is hard to spawn in. So basically, just a quick recap to what I did. Basically, I started at about right here. You don't have to start right here, but I mean, you just have to be a decent distance away from LSC. So what I did... I looked over to the left because the spawn location is going to be on our right and then I just constantly tap the gas button so I don't go too fast because once again you want to go fairly slow for this and then only once I reached the spawn location right over there um, I stopped looking to the left so.